surprised if heroes aren't that tanky this early, especially like the Windrunner and the Gyro. They need a few items. Yeah, and speaking of not that tanky, Admiral Bulldog is having his bad tank, but there might be a Fissure and a Shackle, both of those. Now the Dogs here actually has to get behind the tower. No TP result for, uh, support coming down for Bulldog, but he's trying to eat his way free. He does have his bear up, but they dropped the wall on him, and I think he's very dead. Oh, goodness, Bulldog goes down. In comes Loda, but I don't know if he is enough. And RK coming around from the side. Can they get anybody here? But the TP's out. Aloha Dance doesn't have one, though, and I think if they find this Earthshaker, he is very dead. The Fissure's off of cooldown, though. Can he use it to escape? He manages to catch one, but here comes Arke with the brain sap. When I'm trying to do what she can, Shackle doesn't latch. Does Loda have the range with the sprint? He's being auto-attacked a bit and maybe chasing too far, but here comes S4 support. They desperately want this kill, but I don't think they're getting it. Theory, he's like one of the harder carries just because that is very hard to slide out going down bottom for smoking. Yeah, I've just caught Quite the green gauge. Let's see if they can. Lathrax is coming in, uses that lightning, and they're in the snowball. They actually do the split oath beforehand. Nopia looking very close to death. He manages to get the ice balls off, though, and S4 stunned out, locked down, and Minus looks like he's gonna go down as well. Minus, there is also more backup coming down for Empire, so Minus explodes into a pile of gold. Very nice for him. You were saying about Bearman. Um, I, I think they can even more like push out lanes and force Empire to rotate as like two to three heroes and then capitalize on that. Just it. Oh, we have a nightmare in middle under resolution. There's backup but Bulldog he's trying to pound into him with his bear. A nice echo slam, but aloha dance, you came in alone and now he's gonna go down. It was actually a really big echo slam, all things considered that Aloha Dance doesn't have blink or anything, but holy hammer, these heroes did not give two hoots about it. Yeah, that, that's exactly what Alliance needs to do, and Empire needs to be careful about not doing that. Falling into no fear, the tower is down, lots of rocket barrage going out everywhere, my Nazi goes down, and now Resolution's looking for more, let's see if he can catch out S4 with that vacuum, here comes Aki though, big blithering curse, that's the blink show, and they have the immediate pain strip, but they, they managed to stop it with the vacuum, and now Aki and S4 looking like they're gonna go down shackle between them, echo slam this time, that was beautiful, and well played coming out of Empire. They might have had a surprise blink on Loda, but Empire does not care. They show what they're made of, and this time the Echo Slam, the Ice Fall. Did you see that Shaco? She was beautiful. Unfortunately, the Ice Pass and the Vacuum didn't quite sync up there, otherwise I think they would have managed to at least pick up one more hero. Right? Trying to go back in here. Oh gosh, yeah, here comes Loda. He's getting Ice Fall, so the Shaco is much. Here comes the Snowball, though. And Silent getting more of up. Do they have the DPS Bulldog? He's trying to make his bear do something, and there's also an Urge. They might be able to catch two, this would be huge for S4 having just lost a bunch of bloodstone charges. Bulldog also chasing on the sidelines, let's see what he can catch. I don't think he'll be able to catch Silent. They're looking in middle as well, and does Slaughter have anything? He will be able to blink in one. He could blink over, but the Slithering Crush is a big enough AoE. The split off, and it looks like Yoku going down, and Bulldog is still chasing the Bear Man. He goes, his bear, oh, he gets Tyler's one! Run. He needs, he needs, oh, go Mr. Bear Man! Oh no, he's out of range, he's back in range! This is horrible, but Slaughter's gonna get over the Slithering Crush! Oh. Never let it, oh, Loda goes down. Loda, I was about to say, never let it be said that they don't. Yeah, he, he will have a surge, but the split oath comes out and the sun onto Aki, too late. Ice Bolt as well. S4 is gonna pulse Nova all over you if you let him. He pops the illusions as well, conserving some mana. They're trying to toggle the nightmare, but I don't think that Empire has any way to... Let's see what they can do here. This, I said earlier, I think both teams, whoever's in the pit is the one who gets punished. The Echo Slime is off of cooldown though, and with the vacuum, I might be more in favor of Empire in the pit, even if they're the ones who get jumped. And it looks like Alliance really waiting for the perfect time. They don't have my nuts, so they go on no fear. They'll blow this guy up super quickly. The PKD is popped, and the cooldown, not gonna do anything. A nice vacuum onto S4. The bear doesn't care though. And now Silent pops his BKB as well. Roche is super low. He's at like a third of his health, and both teams need to play super carefully here. Oh yeah, they rooted that uh, slaughter illusion. So they're gonna scout out the state of Roshan and with the quick pick on to- Oh god, they're walking through the wall. This they is... have to get to this rock. I know, but, but they keep walking back and forth through it. They've, they've walked through it like three times. What are they doing? Are they trying to bait? 
Doesn't matter now. Resolution's gonna go vacuum Echo Slam combo, but is it enough? With a power shot, it is. S4 blows up, and now Silence doing a lot of work. They get the shackle between the two heroes. Loda, he needs some sort of escape, but he can't get away. He's just throwing out the amp damage. He's gonna try to split it away, but Arthur is taking a lot, and he goes down. Is Loda thinking about going back in? That's crazy talk. He can't go back in. He needs the bashes, but he can't. And now the bear's trying for it, but it looks like Bulldog may just go down. There's a lot of stuff going in on the pit. Is Roshan gonna bash to does Silent with the amp damage? Bulldog, can you fight them off 1v3 without a bear? I don't think so, but three more seconds on that bear summon. I don't think he's gonna go for it. He's gonna let himself go down. Yeah. This Roshan's still alive. This is gonna be like the most living Roshan I've ever seen. Huh? Oh, I don't know if they're going for it, but yeah, okay, it looks like he might go down. Slaughter ends up getting the Raiders. Aegis, and he has the cooldown with BKB up on Loda. And Silent and Loda again fighting through that BKB flag cannon. Really hurting my nuts, but he's gonna survive. But another shackle! Loda again being the hero in the back and the one to blame, and he's trying to get out of this with the strict, but will he? S4 immediately using up, and here comes Bulldog working on Aloha Dance. He also gets the crush, and then the Oath Splitter. But let's see if Silent can withstand all of this. No more BKB, and they've got the auto attacks then with the amp damage. Damage. He is dead. Power shot slightly missing Slaughter. And now there's gonna be a nice macro pyre, but it's not enough. It'll block those heroes, but Slaughter is already up here and he burns that Aegis. Now another shackle between Bulldog and his bear. That bear being the shackle master, but here comes Loader. Full health. He is ready to rumble. He gets the Slytherin truck off. But now Aloha does try to stop him. Echo Slam even expended, but this snowball is gonna catch him out. And here comes Bulldog with his bear man. And this team fight, maybe. No, it's still not over yet. Here comes Windrunner. I think she's gonna go down, but Loader. He's suddenly low again. Vacuum gonna kill him off. S4 might burn down and goodbye S4 manages to suicide in time. Are you kidding? And now Bulldog's like, guys, I don't want to be here. This has gone on for long enough. We're almost at two kills a minute. But I think, again, my nuts gonna burn down to the Ion Shell. Can he get the Walrus Punch off? But no, he has to wait for the wind run to end. He's stunned up. Can my nuts do it? My nuts looking for Yogi and I think it is too late with the amp damage gone. So he just slinks away and my nuts never gonna get anything. Always gonna be the sacrifice and gonna explode into a pot of gold again but a nice try by my nuts you know it seems like by bear man and there's a newly summoned one from admiral bulldog so he might be in a bad spot snowball does it bring admiral bulldog with another slithering crush that's a very dead no fear but now aloha does another beautiful echo slam is it enough with the tackle the bkb from silence that's about to wear off and they have killed off aloha dog almost he's still not dead the dragon's trying to use his bkb they finally kill off the uh bear uh, the cow man which would be Earth Shaker. But the rest of them, Slaughter going in for another Slithering Crush. He needs backup. They need damage. They can't the split off on both of these two heroes are just dead. Being sure to make sure they get the kills. So oh, a little need over a extension. extension from Empire trying to capitalize on Bulldog recent It would certainly be a nice addition, but it feels like between Fiend Strip, between Slithering Crush, they have enough lockdowns. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, and now Loda going in, pops that BKB, he's gonna sprint all up on you, taking so much damage though from the sprint. Loda may die on the back line, see if one more auto attack would do it, but I don't know what's happening on the rest of the fight. They managed to miss the power shot, and it looks like the rest of Empire being chased by the Bulldog. Alfredo's coming in onto Silent, and can he get him? Alfredo, come on, yeah, he's three shotting Silent, even with the BKB. And now Windrunner has to stop chasing Loda, who got out on a slither of health. You can see this guy, he had 100 health, and they're just gonna work on the mini crap. And they call the GG, they can't kill Loda. The donkey. No, they, oh my god, he misses again. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, Loda does finally go down, but oh. They might not Loda, but they don't manage to take out the rest of Alliance. And we're going to a game two. This was really fun. Almost two kills a minute between these teams. I wasn't expecting that. Are you excited for game two? Yeah, definitely. I hope Empire managed to clean up a bit, because it felt like they just went ham in the fights and didn't realize Alliance were coming back with more heroes and were like in a favorable position at certain points.